we gon' do it. Dale. One, two, three, four. Uno, dos, tres. I know cuatro. you want me. You know I want you. I know you want me. You're listening to Hooked on E on UrbanLatinoRadio.fm. I'm your host, Eric Rivera, and I'm here, surrounded by lovely women. I keep you this is every man's fantasy. I am with <laughs> last season's winner of CTV's Model Latina, Jessica Cabana. Yeah. We also have contestants from this season, Christine and Carolina. <laughs> How you ladies oh, doing today? Doing great. Really well. I, I, I believe here we have the whole CTV family happening here. I don't know if you guys know, I was on CTV Urban Jungle too. Okay. That's right. And I also did CTV Latino Lab Festival in Hollywood. So we got the CTV connection going on. Cool. <laughs> so we're part of the family. We are. We're all, we're all family. part of the family here. <laughs> no, don't say that to him. No, I'm going to fantasize about this later. Don't, don't make it too weird. So we got two contestants in the hot seat. I'm going to ask you ladies a couple questions because we already spoke to Ms. Jessica. Yeah. Uh-oh. So were you guys excited to be part of Mala Latina? Of course. Very excited. Very excited. That was an amazing experience. I really enjoyed it. Just being in Miami, living in a beautiful mansion, you know, with all 12 girls. It can get a little crazy, but... You know, we all learned to love each other and the yeah. girls got close and stuff, so I'm actually glad to be here with Christine. Yeah. We love it. <laughs> and you have to see the show, beautiful, beautiful women from everywhere. I mean, it was a nice experience, fun, interesting, stressful, you name it, but it was a good time. Again, if you do not have CTV, go out and get it. These girls are gorgeous. And you know what? So it premieres August 2nd, Mama Latina, Miami, yes. and I can And when you hear the word Miami, you know, I'm sure there's bathing suits. So tell us about the audition process. Was it a grueling process? Was it simple? Like what, what was your experiences? My experience was it was fun the, because there was two parts of it. The first one they see if they're interested in your look and how you are in general and then the second one is a little bit more intense questions. So it wasn't as light as I thought it'd be, but it was fun. Yeah. I liked it. It was like a two-part kind of interview. The first group, kind of the first in the morning, the mm-hmm. first session was like fun. It was like, oh, pretend you're advertising for Verizon. I know we had uh, Verizon as one of our sponsors, and they had us like use one of their phones and pretend we're like sponsoring or mm-hmm. promoting VCAS. And then afterwards, like at the end, it was more, you know, oh, tell us a little bit more about yourself, like intense questions and stuff like that. So. What, what would you say was one of the hardest questions you've done? Um, it was, we had a range of different ones. You guys know yeah, that? the one that I remember is, what can you tell us about yourself that we can't tell by just looking at you? Okay. And, you know, back in the day, I used to, you know, kind of throw down. <laughs> so, <laughs> Fire. Watch out. No, not like that, but, you know, sometimes you're in a situation where you have to protect yourself. So, you know, being how I am now, feminine woman, and just, you know, hear me roar, model. Back then, it used to just be different. Again, but maybe who I am. If you don't have CTV, you have to. <laughs> this summer, CTV's Model Latina returns. New city, new faces, fierce competition. Please, no tears. Model Latina Miami premieres Sunday, August 2nd, only on CTV. I know you want me, you know I want you.